What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you just a lighthearted video about some of my favorite universes, and while if you watch my channel regularly, none of these might be of any particular surprise to you, to be honest, though there will be a few honorable mentions, these are the five that I definitely love the most. So starting with number five, we have the Elder Scrolls universe. So while I did love and play a lot of video games before I ever touched an Elder Scrolls game, the Elder Scrolls universe was the first universe really to ever really pull me in. The first one I played was Oblivion, and I remember playing through it and being like, I need to know everything there is to know about this thing. It kind of just evolved from there like it did for a great many people. Then, of course, thanks to Skyrim, there's just worlds and worlds of lore YouTube channels for the Elder Scrolls in general. There's just tons of amazing games for Elder Scrolls, so it's a pretty easy subject to dive into these days. And they've really capitalized on their franchise, so there's no shortage of content to see. And while I generally don't really like the power fantasy that they tend to always go for, it nonetheless remains one of my favorite franchises. And then next up in the number four spot, this is actually the World of Darkness universe. That is to say, uh, Vampire the Masquerade, Werewolf the Apocalypse, basically all of the various tabletop games and things associated with the World of Darkness. Now, I like the World of Darkness for a lot of reasons, but more specifically, the fact that it's set in a modern setting, that they take vampire stuff and they take like individual elements of like vampire lore and things and then attach that to a clan and then crank it up to 11 for that one clan, all just makes the vampires themselves 10 times more interesting. There's all this weird vampire politics stuff going on in the background with the Camarilla and the Anarchs and the Sabbat and all this other stuff. It's just very interesting. Now, the downside to the World of Darkness universe is that video game wise, which is really what this channel is about, there's only a handful of decent ones. Like, honestly, there's Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, of course. There's Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. There's that one that came out recently that was uh, Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood which honestly had mixed reviews, but beyond that, most of the games for this universe are more of a visual novel style game, or they're just the actual tabletop game. So when it comes to video games, they're a little sparse. But nonetheless, they took a bunch of really cool concepts in a modern setting and kind of just did their own thing with it, and it feels unique, and it's just one of my favorite franchises. And then for our third spot, we have good old Dungeons & Dragons. And I mean, honestly, it's a classic. I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons games basically my entire life as it existed well before I was born. It's one of those things where they've had so much time to add so much to it. But basically anything you want to do in Dungeons and Dragons probably has some amount of source material for you to use as inspiration. And while I personally tend to focus on the video games, I did, of course, used to play the tabletop game back in high school as well as occasionally buying some of the more interesting source books they come out with and overall Dungeons and Dragons again it's just a classic and while I don't agree with everything they do as a franchise nonetheless it's one of my favorites and then in second place we actually have the Divinity Universe the Divinity Universe is a funny one because the lore for it is all over the place Canon is a very loose term, and that is because it was only really with the last two games, Original Sin and Original Sin 2, that they even bothered to try to keep much of a proper like lore thing going on. Because while the previous games had lore, none of it was like the giant focus of the game, and they were happy to change it and get pretty loose with what they were doing. And then with the last two games that they made, Original Sin and Original Sin 2, they actually tried to make a lot of it make sense. And the problem is, some of it just doesn't. There's plot holes everywhere. But nonetheless, I honestly, I just love it. It's so quirky and weird. And despite all the problems with the holes and stuff, and honestly, some of it just reads like bad fan fiction, to be real with you. But nonetheless, you can tell so much love went into it. It's hard for me to just not appreciate it simply because of that, even if, admittedly, it's not the best written in terms of its lore. Now, next up, we have Pathfinder. Obviously, I make a ton of Pathfinder content, and I don't know, I just love Pathfinder, honestly. I enjoy the universe, I enjoy reading about all these countries and things, I enjoy reading about the big cosmic events, not to mention that Pathfinder by itself has some of the best CRPG video games that you can play, just period, that are actually modern to boot. There's just a lot to love, and with Pathfinder, you can really dive in and make the character you want to make. Now, there is a bunch of min-maxing that goes into Pathfinder, but if you are like me and choose to ignore a lot of that, 
you can really get into the role play side of it and have a lot of fun. Moreover, I like Pathfinder because, especially when it comes to video games, which are based on the first edition of Pathfinder, I love a good complicated system. And it's not for everybody, but I enjoy the mental work of figuring stuff like that out because that process is what's going to make me dig deeper into a game to figure out all its systems, figure out ways to interact with them and get better at it which kind of leads to some inadvertent min-maxing. So getting to dive into that complicated system the last year or two, figure all this stuff out, make guides. The community has really responded to all those videos. It's just a, a very fun universe for me to be involved in, and as such has kind of taken the cake. So there you go, guys. Just kind of a fun video about the five universes that I love the most. And while I tried to keep it a little brief, I could honestly go on for quite a while about each of these individual topics. So if there is something I didn't specifically mention that you love one of these universes for, or just other universes you love yourself, feel free to drop that stuff down in the comment section below. And I did mention there would be some honorable mentions. So the honorable mentions, for starters, uh, Dragon Age. I love the lore. It just occurs to me that like every single one of the video games, yes, Origins included, is kind of eh. You know what I mean? They're not bad. Some of them are pretty good in a lot of ways, but every single Dragon Age game comes with huge downsides. If they could just get one of these games right, where it's overwhelmingly good, I think they'd be in a really good place, because the lore of the Dragon Age world is amazing. I love the lore of Dragon Age a lot, but each one of the video games has just tremendous faults that it's hard for me to look past. Some other honorable mentions are uh, Star Wars, for obvious reasons, I love that stuff, as well as the Diablo franchise. Though that said, the Diablo franchise these days is a hard one to love because Activision is a shit company. There you go, guys. Some of my favorite universes, some honorable mentions. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.